Hello, welcome to Live Science Live Back. Today we are going to talk about light and vision. That is the fifth unit of our grade 6 science syllabus. This video will provide you an easy way to learn light and vision. Also, it will provide you a short and very interesting note for the lesson. We can see objects from our eyes. Also, we need light to see them. Therefore, we need both eye and light to get vision. We know that we have five sense organs. Among them, eye is necessary for vision. And also, light is the other necessary factor for vision. Light rays fall into an object reflects into our eye to make the vision. Sources of light. Any object that can produce light is a source of light. Our main primary source of light is the sun. There are many more sources of light like Candles, lamps, bulbs and etc. Objects are two types according to the ability of producing light. They are luminous objects and non-luminous objects. Luminous objects produce light. Stars, lighting bulbs, lighting candles, lighting lamps are examples for luminous objects. Non-luminous objects cannot produce light. Planets, stones, mountains, rivers and etc. are examples for non-luminous objects. Following are some living organisms that can produce light. Firefly, some mushrooms and also some marine organisms can produce light. They also are luminous. Light transmit through objects in different ways. Accordingly, objects are three types. Transparent objects translucent objects and opaque objects. Light can totally pass through transparent objects. Examples, glass, air, water. Light partially pass through translucent objects. Example, decorated glasses, tissue paper, oil paper. Light does not pass through opaque objects, example, cardboard, stones, bricks, and etc. You can get a clear idea about transparent, translucent, and opaque objects from this image. Just take a look at this picture. From the first glass, we can see the front part of the elephant well because that part is a transparent part. But within the second part, we just see an image of the elephant. It's not clear because it is translucent. From the third part, we can't see the elephant because it is opaque. The narrow path in which light is transmitted, known as a light ray. We use a straight line with an arrowhead 
as the symbol for a light ray. A light beam is made up of a collection of light rays. We use parallel lines with arrowheads to indicate a light beam. These are the applications of light. Number one, for photosynthesis, plants use light energy to produce their food by photosynthesis. Second one, to give a clear vision. We need light to have a clear vision. In a dark way, we can't see the objects clearly. But when light is falling, objects can be observed very clearly. Illumination. You can see light is used for a decoration. And also in lanterns, pandas and for a lot of decorations we use light. Light as signals. Traffic lights use light to give signals. And also lighthouses emit light. To give signals. For communication, telephone networks are operated under the technology of optic fibers. In the medical field, endoscopy is done using light. For entertainment, there are many toys produced using light. This is an example for a toy that emits light when it's playing. This is the instrument used for endoscopy. For people who are having diseases like gastritic, are inserted this endoscopy machine from their mouth into the digestive tract. The second image shows how Images are formed using endoscopy machine. An image of the digestive tract is shown here. Okay, actually it's a very simple lesson. I think you all enjoyed the video and learned it well. So, all your lessons from this lesson are going to teach and revision here. So join with our Facebook page Live Science Live and subscribe to our YouTube channel Live Science Live. Thank you. Goodbye.